Hi, this is Helal. In this video on Mathematical Economics series, we will solve another problem on externality. And in this case, we have to see the change in the consumer surplus. The question is like this. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, when marginal cost is being given as 10 plus 0.x, okay? Marginal revenue is 30 minus 0.6x, where x denotes the quantity. Uh, damage borne by the society is equal to 10. Find the consumer loss when go government interferes uh, the externality, okay? When the government uh, actually takes the intervention. So, uh, the options are 90, 200, 300, or 400. Let's try to solve this out, okay? Now, first of all, let's see what we are being given. We are being given the marginal cost, okay? Our marginal cost is equal to, in this case, our marginal cost is equal to marginal private cost, okay? which is equal to 10 plus 0.4x okay what is our marginal revenue let us call this marginal revenue here marginal benefit okay which is being given us as 30 uh, minus 0.6x obviously there is the difference between marginal revenue and marginal benefit but we will not be able to solve it uh, if we don't use the marginal benefit here okay that way because the options are given uh, in such a way now also we are being told that damage borne by the society is 10 what is meant by damage borne by the society this is simply me uh, uh, this simply means our marginal external cost okay that very cost which is not being included when we actually produce at the equilibrium position of uh, the marginal private cost and marginal benefit curve okay so it is being given as 10 okay now let's try to draw the graph here okay to make the things more simpler for you and for me also then make simple bus book up here go to some simple thing is okay now so we have quantity here this is our output here and here we have this marginal revenue price and other things okay now first we have the marginal benefit curve which we call the demand curve here okay and this is like this okay this is our marginal benefit curve okay marginal private cost is being given as 10 plus 0.4x uh, the intercept of this marginal benefit curve is 30 okay i hope you know this uh, uh, graphical stuff so our marginal private cost is 10 plus 0.4x so let me draw it like this with intercept 10 here okay this is our marginal private cost okay initially our equilibrium will be at the intersection of these two curves that means initially our equilibrium will be so equilibrium uh, will require that our demand is equal to supply this is also our supply curve this is our demand curve okay initially our equilibrium will be equal to that is equal to marginal benefit what we call demand should be equal to this marginal private cost that is equal to let me write here first this marginal private cost this is 30 30 minus 0.6x should be equal to marginal private cost this is 10 uh, plus 0.4x okay now transposing uh, the like terms so if we transpose this will become positive so we have here 30 if we transpose this will get subtracted okay we have 0.4x plus 0.6x okay i hope you know this stuff very well so it comes out to be 20 so 0 0.4 0 0.6 comes out to be 1 so we have x is equal to 1 that means which implies our equilibrium output will be 20 so initially we will be producing 20 units when we don't take into the into account the uh, loss uh, sorry the damage borne by the society so this is 20 here and what will be the price at when x is equal to 20 so price will be equal to the marginal benefit that is equal to marginal benefit what is marginal benefit marginal benefit is being given us that is 30 minus 0 0.6 the value of x is 20 so i will write here 20 so this is p will be equal to 30 
minus 0.6 can be written as 6 upon 10 into 20. So, yeah, 0 to 0 go cancel. 6 to 0 go 12. In gay ba, trane ba to arda. That means our equilibrium price will be 18. Okay. So, initially we will be at this point. Okay. Initially we will be producing at this point. Now, when the government interferes or takes into consideration the externality, so then what will happen to our uh, marginal private cost? This marginal private cost will shift towards left, okay, by a size of uh, the damage borne by the society, okay. So let me write in it in words. So our uh, new supply curve will be equal to new supply curve will be equal to what we call the marginal social cost okay when we add the marginal private cost with the marginal external cost we will get the socially optimal level of output okay and marginal private cost which is being given that is 10 plus 0.4x and what is our marginal external cost what we call the damage borne by the society which is equal to 10 okay so that means our marginal social cost is equal to 20 plus 0.4x so this is our msc okay which uh, simply means uh, this uh, marginal private cost curve will shift uh, upwards okay by 10 units okay its intercept will change by 10 units so this will become 20 plus 0.4x slope will remain same only the intercept will change so let me draw it like this okay so this is our marginal social cost let me write it here uh, it is uh, it is intercept is 20 here okay now first we need to find out the consumer surplus initially what would have been our uh, consumer surplus if i don't take into consideration this very red line consumer surplus is the area which lies below the demand curve and above the equilibrium price so this is our demand curve marginal benefit curve equilibrium price was 18 so the area which is under this curve okay so the area of this very triangle is our consumer surplus initially okay so initially our consumer surplus will be equal to uh, let me write it here consumer surplus is simply with the area which is below the demand curve above the sub uh, above the equilibrium price okay will be equal to the area of this very triangle so area of this very triangle will be one half of the base what is base it is not base it is base here it is 20 so let me write it here 20 so the this distance the length this length the same so this is 20 into what is the height height is from 18 to 30 so that means 30 minus 18 so this will come out to be uh, so 2 ones are 2 tens are so this is 10 into 30 I guess it's 20 okay so this comes out to be 120 okay the area of this value triangle okay so if I can show it here <coughs> no I will not show it here it will get messy so I hope you know I am talking about this whole triangle okay so since ordinarily we were producing at this point after when we take into consideration the um, external cost okay so actually we are dealing with the negative externality okay if we produce here let us say this is the production of uh, supply and demand of cigarettes okay if we produce here so this will be our uh, equilibrium point when we don't take uh, account when we do not take account the external costs that are caused by the smoking okay so the external costs can be anything the pace of smoking lung cancer any other uh, 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 we can also say the pollution caused by uh, 
smoking cigarettes so we don't take it uh, into it account at that point but when we take it into account we will be producing at that very point okay the cost borne by the society is 10 that will give us the true uh, socially optimal level of output which will which we will be producing when we take into the consideration the external cost just caused by the smoking okay i am just giving a brute example here okay i hope you know the theoretical part i'm not very good enough in that okay so now we will be producing at this very point now what are the coordinates of this point so new equilibrium will be our new new equilibrium will require that our marginal social cost should be equal to our marginal benefit curve so this the intersection of these two lines this green and this red line gives us the equilibrium output rather the socially optimal uh, level of output okay so marginal social cost is uh, 20 plus 4x this is 20 plus 0.4x should be equal to the marginal benefit uh, which is uh, 30 minus 0.6x okay so doing some a simple calculation so we have 0.4x transposing this 0.6 it will become positive 0.6x is equal to 30 if we transpose this term it will get subtracted so 0.4.6 comes out to be 1 so we are left with x okay so we will be producing 10 units okay and what will be the price then so price will be equal to obviously a marginal benefit and what is our marginal benefit marginal benefit is uh, 30 30 minus 0.6 x and what is the value of uh, x we got x is equal to 10 so we have 6 upon 10 into 10 so 10 to 10 gets cancel 30 minus 6 is 24 that means at socially optimal level the price uh, equilibrium price will be 24 okay so we will be producing at that very point which is equal to 24 okay initially now what is the new consumer surplus so let's write consumer surplus new is equal to now since this is the equilibrium point now we are not taking into consideration these other things here okay so since we are uh, producing at that very point our new consumer surplus will be simply the area which lies below the demand curve above the new equilibrium price our new equilibrium price is 24 so the area of this value triangle okay gives us new equilibrium uh, surplus consumer surplus okay so what is the area of this value triangle you go one half of what is base base is 10 okay so this very length is 10 into what is height height is 30 minus 24 30 minus 24 that means uh, you go share six is the height here okay six is so this comes out to be one half of so we have five into 30 minus 24 comes out to be 6 5 6 is are 30 okay so now our consumer surplus has shrunk to 30 now what is loss of loss of consumer surplus what we call the consumer loss is equal to original consumer surplus minus new consumer surplus okay originally this whole triangle was our consumer surplus okay this whole triangle and its area was 120 after that uh, we got this very area new consumer surplus that is 30 that means change in the consumer surplus is bahanitrata now that comes out to be 90 okay so initially what was our consumer surplus let me draw it here also initially our consumer surplus was this whole triangle this big triangle okay this triangle to this we subtracted uh, this top triangle okay and 
the difference between these two gives us the consumer's loss which come which came out to be 90 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video so the correct option to this question will be 90 okay so i will request you people please share subscribe and like and comment uh, on this channel okay that will be only motivation for me to keep going on i'm just making these videos for you people for free okay there is no incentive for me otherwise okay thank you